In the previous video, we took a look at Django block content. So how to extend by a certain HTML file and insert HTML. So if we have our base.html, we have these content blocks. And then in, within those content blocks, we can have other HTML content that's also denoted by that same block. I also showed you how to use snippets. So we have this include, and we're including this sm small little body snippet. So if I was to look at our project, uh, we have our some some HTML and then we have a little bit it's inserted by that snippet. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to return data from the view and then display it in that template. So first of all, I want to delete this print. We don't need that anymore. That was just for demonstration. And now I want to uh, get some data. So we don't have any data in our database right now, but we, we will later eventually. But So I'm just going to create some variables and pass those to the templates. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. Uh, first of all, you always want to define a context variable, and then what we're going to be doing is passing this context variable as input to the render method. I'm not sure if you actually even call them uh, methods in Python, but I do because since I'm, I'm used to object-oriented programming. But whatever it's called, if I made a mistake, correct me, I, I'm pretty sure it, it's method though. It might be function. They might be called functions. I'm not really sure. So now the first way to add a, a variable is like this. I'm going to add a variable named some string so this, that some string variable is getting added as context i'm going to say this is some string that i'm passing to the view uh, now i can also do this so I'll, I'll actually demo this before i move on so i'm going to save that pressing Control s that's being saved that context is being passed to the view now i'm going to go into home.html and I'm going to print out that variable. How we do that with Django is two of these uh, squiggly braces, I guess you would call them, and I can just do some string. So this is the name of that, uh, that string that's within the context. So if I save that, we expect to see some string printed to the website. So if I refresh that, there we have, this is some string that I'm passing to the view. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the, the first way to pass data to a template. And of course, you can use any data type. You know, I could copy this line, and this could be like some uh, some number, and I could pass a number to same sort of thing. Doesn't really matter. Uh, then I could go save that, go into home. I could also print uh, some number. The exact same thing. Nothing is different. There's the string, and there's the number. Uh, it's they're showing up on the same line because I didn't do a page break, and I didn't surround. I didn't surround them in a p tag. So if I would have done p, put that in there. Whoops, forgot to close that, and add another p, and then add that in there. They were that's why they were beside each other. So if I save that and go back, there we go. We have our string and then our number. So that's the first way. That's actually the way that I typically do it. It's just you define a context and then you add things to that context. Now the other way is you can um, you can add them like this. So if I comment this out. And I go context equals, do our squiggly braces, and now I can add the variables right here. So if I go sum string, uh, close that off, do a colon, and do uh, the same thing. So I can just copy this string, paste that right here. This is some string, and I can also do some number, and just do whatever random number. And of course, add, uh, add a comma to, at the end of each of those variables. So pressing control S to save that, I'm gonna go back to the project, refresh it, and there we have, we still have, there's a string and then there's some number being passed to the view. So that's the second way, like I said, I prefer the, the first way. So now I'm gonna uncomment this and I'm gonna show you how to pass a list of data to a view. So I'm gonna call this list of values, set it equal to a new list. So it's kind of like initializing a new list if you're familiar with object-oriented programming with uh, Java or Kotlin. Uh, and I want to append things to the list. So I can say like first entry, uh, and I can copy that line. I'll copy it a couple times. Let's do second entry, third entry, and maybe the fourth entry. So now we have four values that are added to that list. And then at the end of that, I want to go context. I can do list, list of values. Uh, the naming of this doesn't matter, by the way. Like I could call this anything. It doesn't have to match the name of the variable, just so you know. Uh, and then I can do equals to that list of values. So now if I go back to, I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna press Control S, I accidentally selected everything there, but let's press Control S to save that file, go back to home.html, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna iterate through the list of values and print them onto the screen. So basically what I'm gonna show you here is how to do loops in templates with Django. So let's go back up here, I wanna do four list of values, so I'm saying, 
uh, loop through the list of values. I'm saying for list item in the list of values. So it's like doing a for each loop, I guess, in Java, where you would do for some value loop through all the values kind of thing. Uh, then I want to end the loop. So end for to end the loop. And then inside here, I can print out those values. Uh, so I can either just do list item and print out each value. And I can do like a line break uh, to print them on each line. Or I can pass them to the snippet, which I'll show you in just a second. So we have first entry, second entry, third entry, fourth entry. And of course, these aren't printing anything anymore because I've removed those from the context. So I can actually just delete these. We don't we don't need those anymore. So that'll be that'll be all the list entries being printed uh, from that values list. Uh, now I'm going to show you something else really cool that you can do with Django. So I'm going to take this this snippet. I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to change the snippet to print out the value. So inside here, I'm just going to write value in uh, two squiggly braces. I'm going to save that, and now inside here, I want to do I want to say with uh, value equals list item. So what that's going to do is it's going to pass this list item as a parameter to the snippet named and give it a name of value. And that's what matches right here. So if I called this, you know, value x, this would also need to be value x, but it's just going to be value. So saving that, saving that going back to the view, refreshing it, there we have first entry, second entry, third entry, fourth entry. So there you can see kind of if uh, like if you were to have a really complicated or a more complicated snippet, like if I was to compare with codingwithmich.com and go maybe to the to the homepage, uh, that's exactly what's happening here. So right he right here in the beginner plus plus section, I'm looping through these different courses and I'm passing that data to a snippet, which is just being displayed right here. So this would be loop iteration one, loop iteration two, loop iteration three. That's the exact same thing that we're doing right here. I'm looping through some data that we got from the view and I'm passing it to a snippet and inside of this template everything looks really clean everything's very nice and if i ever wanted to you know alter what each one of these little list items looks like all i would need to do is alter the snippet which is very it, it's much simpler than going through a big html file like that would be comparable to me going through the, the html file file for this entire page as opposed to just looking at the individual snippet so it's it's a uh, you know, as your projects get bigger and bigger, these snippets can give basically more and more utility. It helps keep everything very clean. So that's pretty much all there is to passing data to a template from a view. Of course, the data will eventually be coming from the database. Right now, all we're doing is we're uh, kind of just creating some data inside the view itself. But later, as we progress through the course, we're going to be actually querying data from the database and then passing that to the view. But in general, that's kind of the overall process of how you pass data to templates from the views. And obviously, in our project, the styling is is not there yet. There's like, you know, no styling at all. But that's also going to come with time. Now, in the next video, we are going to start some database work. We're going to set up the super user for the project. So the person who has complete kind of admin pr privileges on your server. And we're also going to start setting up the admin panel.